Good day, my friend. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Polygon Bridge. By the end of this, you're going to know how to bridge your tokens from Polygon to Ethereum. So then you can go and do whatever you want with those tokens or sell them on Uniswap. And I'm going to show you how to do the other way around as well, how to buy tokens from Ethereum and transfer it over to Polygon. Let's get started. First and foremost, we're going to want to buy some Matic. Matic is the native token on Polygon, and you're going to need it just how you need Ethereum to use the ETH chain. Every single transaction executed on Polygon is going to require this native token. So you're going to save yourself a lot of headaches if we just go ahead and acquire some Matic right off the bat. You're going to want to go to uniswap.org. What we're going to do is buy some Matic on the Ethereum chain. Go ahead and connect your wallet. I'm using a MetaMask here. Prompt's going to pop up, log in. Fill in as uh, preliminary details, and then we're ready to shop for a Somatic. So down there, you're going to see the blue little logo there. You're going to hit select the token. We're going to search up Matic, select Matic right there. Now enter the desired amount. You really don't need a lot of Matic. It's very, very cheap to use Matic on Polygon. So I'm just scooping like whatever, 20 something dollars worth of Matic here. We're going to hit swap, confirm our swap here. Another prompt's going to pop up to pay the gas fee. Go ahead and scroll down and hit confirm. Transaction has been submitted. Just give it 30 seconds to a minute. Boom, we're good to go. We have now swapped our ETH for Matic. So now what we got to do is get this Matic that we have. It's currently on the Ethereum chain. We have to bring it over to the Polygon chain. Head over to this URL, wallet.polygon.technology slash login. I've put a link in the description. It's going to prompt you to log in with your MetaMask if you're not already logged in. You're going to get this prompt, select the Polygon bridge. It's going to take you to the bridging service. So what we're going to do here is we're going to be depositing a token from the Ethereum blockchain. So go ahead, select Matic, enter the amount that you want to bridge from Ethereum to Polygon. And then at the bottom there, hit transfer. It's going to pop out some estimated fees, hit continue. We're transferring our 29 Matic, plus continue again. And you're going to see a gas fee pop up here. Just hit confirm. And now we are pending. So. The transaction is going to be confirmed, so don't do anything until the transaction is first confirmed. So we're just going to wait. Boom. Our transaction has been confirmed, so now we need to pay the fee on Ethereum. So go ahead and hit continue. Pay the gas fee. Click confirm. And now our transactions in progress. You can pretty much AFK now. Sometimes this can take a while. It took me about 39 minutes for my transaction to complete. And now I have Matic on Polygon. I'm going to show you what that looks like to confirm that it's there. You're going to go back to your MetaMask, select the Polygon chain at the top there instead of Ethereum mainnet, go to the Polygon network. And boom, you can see I've deposited my Matic. I already had some Matic before. That's why it's 36, not 29. But boom, we now have Matic. Now, in case you can't see your Matic, you just simply need to add the token to your MetaMask. Hop on over to CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap. Search up Polygon or Matic. Go and copy the address. What you want is the Polygon address because we're looking at Matic on Polygon. Take that address, go to import tokens, paste it in. Bada bing, bada boom. Now let's talk bridging tokens from Polygon to Ethereum. What if you want to transfer it between wallets or get your tokens to an exchange so you can sell it or buy it? I'm going to run you through all of that. First and foremost, head to the Polygon bridge. Now that we have Matic, you can execute these transactions as you'll be able to pay the fees on Polygon. Go to withdraw. So we are extracting tokens, taking them away from Polygon to Ethereum. We're going to search up the token we want, in this case, NFT Worlds. You may not see it listed. All you have to do is check off the Polygon token list. Once it's turned on, you'll notice that it shows the world balance. And now you can exit out of there. Enter the desired amount that you want to withdraw. So click on transfer. You're going to uh, just simply hit continue. This can take a while. There you got your gas fees there. Hit continue once again. So we are now bridging, as you can see, from Polygon to ETH. Hit continue. It's going to give you another MetaMask prompt. It's going to ask you to switch your network. So right now we need to go to Polygon. And now we're paying the gas fee on Polygon. As you can see with Matic, we're going to hit confirm. Transactions in process. Once again, don't exit out of here just yet. Wait for it to uh, initiate the withdrawal. It's waiting for our little checkpoint. All right, we're arrived at our checkpoint. So now we need to pay the fee on Ethereum. 
remember, because we're bringing our tokens to the Ethereum chain. So it's going to ask you to switch the network. Switch over to the Ethereum mainnet on your MetaMask. Hit continue now. It's going to prompt confirmation. So we're just going to pay the $13 gas fee on ETH. Hit confirm. Now this can take a while. After waiting, our tokens have transferred. We've transferred 300 world to our Ethereum wallet. I don't have the tokens there, so I'm just going to copy it and add the tokens to my ETH. Just copy the address, paste it in, world token, add it in. Boom. Now we see we have 300 world in our Ethereum mainnet wallet. Now you can head over to Uniswap. And if you want to swap these tokens, you just simply search up world, pop her in with the pairing of Ethereum. And you can sell these now for ETH. But what we're going to focus on right now is how to do the opposite. How do we buy tokens and then bridge it back to Polygon? So this is very simple. You just simply enter the amount that you want to buy. I'm just going to cop. 300 world here we are going to uh, swap it on uniswap pay our little gas fee here click confirm give it a minute or two for the transaction to process bada bing bada boom we're good to go so we have now swapped a little bit of eth for world i now have 600 world in my ethereum wallet we're going to go back to the polygon bridge we're going to select deposit go to world for the token that we want to deposit so now we're, we have 600 world, as you can see there on the Ethereum chain, we're going to max that out. And I want to bring that over to my Polygon wallet. So we're going to hit transfer, click on continue. The estimated gas fees here, click continue again. We're going to pay the gas fee here on ETH. It's going to pop us up, pay this little fee, hit confirm. This is approving the transaction for us once again wait and now we're going to pay the the full gas fee here so we're confirming our transaction now it's a patience game so give it i don't know anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes for it to process your transaction and there we have it i just deposited 600 world from ethereum to polygon and we can double check this by going to our metamask we see there's no more world there on the on my ethereum if we head over to Polygon, we're going to see that I added an additional 600 world there. You're pretty much good to go. If you go to your player login on your NFT worlds, you're going to see your balance has increased.